Okay. I've been following okay. since like way back. Let's see if we go back, 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 back. When she had a baby and she was doing all mm -hmm. kinds of, she was doing the shtick with her husband where like she hated the husband and I, don't know, I, I thought it was funny. She's okay. got, she's a great thing, right? Her whole shtick, I guess. And not to demean it by calling it a shtick, but she's very funny. Um, here's her and her husband. Ooh. And as new parents, nothing but love, you know what I mean, for, for the two of them. So she's been blowing up big time. And I first noticed this whole podcast phenomenon when she did this podcast with uh, Funny Marco. Hmm. This shit is phenomenal. Have you all seen this? No, I haven't. God, seen it's one. so funny. He's so super he, funny. Didn't know about any of this until this whole like Drake thing went down. So this guy, great. Funny Marco, who I discovered via this and I now follow, is another kind of TikTok comedian, but their chemistry is nuts, dude. Uh, people. And I'm sure that Drake saw this and then reached out to her for the interview. But here's a clip. Uh, you're not my type. What's your type? Uh, people that, like, my type is just brothers, a lot of brothers, a lot of wild ghetto shit, just booty titties. Uh, just somebody just patting their head all day and just saying, where's my baby daddy? Where's my baby daddy? Oh, you got me fucked up. I'm about to bust all your windows out. You got it all twisted in this motherfucker. Go get my motherfucking gun before I beat your ass and I cheat on her. And then she just like, I don't know the fuck you didn't cheat on me. And she beat me up. And then I'll be in jail and I get out and I'll be like, Yo, like, why you call the police on me? And she's just like, because you ain't shit, motherfucker. <laughs> and then that's when I'm just like, yo, 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 lady, chill out. I love you. And we start kissing. And she be like, now go in there and take care of your stepson because he ain't really your son, motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, shit, I like that. I don't think you got that in you <laughs> at all. You got spooky hearing it out, you know? And that's just real life where I come from. A straight gutter, <laughs> just out the wall, blown. Everything is just, just like a waterfall. I just keep dropping. And you don't even know who Tupac is. Wow. Uh, you're not my type. <laughs> well, let me what? find one where it's got more of their... What the fuck? More of their back and forth. Hold on one sec here. One sec. This was, uh, let's see this. Yeah, I've been there sometime. <laughs> yeah, so then I thought you have really white teeth, by the way. What do you thought they would be? Like mine. <laughs> mine aren't really white. No, why you say like yellow or some shit? <laughs> yeah, mine are yellow. No, you think mine I, be yellow. Mine are. You're not yellow. Yeah, yours are really white. I just, I was complimenting you and you're taking no, you it said, all like, the wrong you way. You said it like, like, wow, your shit really white. Like. Like, your shit should not be that white. <laughs> you really like to be offended by everything I say, don't no, you? No, if you look it back, I think that's you. I was just caught off guard. You smiled you said, oh, for the wow. first you said, time. Oh, wow, your teeth are really white. And you did this. You because look. it's not typical to have teeth that white. That's unusually white. Do you get them whitened? Better not be yes after all of this. You've just <laughs> Do you whiten your teeth? Do you whiten your teeth? Do you whiten your teeth? <laughs> Why are you not answering me? <laughs> wow. Do you whiten your teeth? It takes 10 seconds, yes or no? I just ripped them out the plastic. They've been acting brand new. We have been there sometimes. So anyway, I don't know. It's all very, very funny stuff like this. And so, um, what the fuck? This one is 26 Would million? Would you say easy? Mm -hmm. Oh, like... Easy to get along with? I mean, however you want to take it, you say yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty easy. That's good, me too. I have. I feel like I need to start having standards for myself. You don't have standards? I dated a girl in a wheelchair. <laughs> no, no, but I'm telling you, she walked out my life still. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Why did she roll out of your life? Oh, she actually walked out of my life. How? That's why I'm trying to figure out. The other day, <laughs> she just blocked me at the work. She blocked you? So I don't know the whole time if she was pretending because I got a camera of her just packing her stuff up and putting it in the car. 
and I was blocked. And I'm like, hold on, she walking. Are you making this story up right now? <laughs> no, this really happened. How many flights of stairs does it take to get up to your apartment? Why well, I gotta have an apartment? <laughs> Can you open this for me? Well, I'm trying to, I'm stuck on the apartment. Why well, I gotta have an apartment? We got houses. Nice ones. Would you say that you're easy? So, okay, very funny. So after this, this was a huge viral film. Like all these clips have so many views. And then all of a sudden, she starts posting pictures of her with Drake. And they start teasing that she's doing an interview like this with Drake. Now, she did the interview. It, as we expected, got a gajillion views. 55 million, did it have 55 million views on YouTube? Really? That's crazy. I think it was total, I forget. It was, it was up there though, it was very high. Very, very high. So it was, you know, a viral just as we expected. Uh, and very funny, I gotta say, like, if Drake is doing PR right now, that was a really good move because I thought he came off really likable and very funny. And, yeah. and, I, and I even hate to say this, down to earth. <laughs> yeah, in a weird way. Which is I kind agree. of weird to say about a guy that lives in a billion dollar house, literally. <laughs> yeah. Calls himself Champagne Poppy. <laughs> yeah. But he, he, was really, he was really funny, I gotta say. It really, uh, I went home and I put on some Drake. Oh, Drake! yeah. Drake! Drake! <laughs> Drake! Drake! So. Um, here's a re-upload of the video. So here's where the mystery comes in. Yesterday, was it? Um, either yesterday or the day before, I think. <laughs> they both unfollowed each other. I'm and she erased all social posts with him and erased the YouTube video interview. Mm -hmm. Both of them had like a straight up social media breakup. How weird is that? Drake! And obviously my first thought was like, it's probably publicity, right? But um, we're going to we're gonna go over that. Here's a re-upload of the episode, just to give you an idea. She flew out to uh, his house in Canada. Tell me when. Marking. Oh, it was in Memphis. Because I thought she said something like... Okay, it was in Memphis. You like that, eh, Zon? You didn't think I knew about that. <clears throat> We start. <laughs> when do we start? Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to the really good podcast um, with your host Bobby Altoff. Today, I'm here with. Can you introduce yourself? That's awesome. Drake. That's not your name. It, that is my middle name. Yeah. That's not your real name. That's my government name, middle name. Why would you go by that? What's your first name? My first name is Aubrey. Mm hmm. I see where you go with yeah. yeah. But, yeah, my, I think my mom named me after a lawyer, which always kind of, like, rubbed me the wrong way. Because, like, I don't know, why would you just name me after, like, a, a random lawyer unless, like, there was something else going on, you know? I was named after a cheerleader my dad thought was hot. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bobby? Yeah. It's an older name. My dad's old. Okay, but, like... For a fact, like you've seen the girl, or that's yeah, he showed or, me. No, he showed me again. Yeah. It's just it's pushing the boundaries on something that could be misinterpreted, like on my end. Just say it during your show. But then people are gonna be like, like so. I, without watching too much of this here, it's basically they have a really good rapport. Very funny. Yeah. I wish I could show you the, the clips on TikTok that g grab the best moments, but I don't know. Are there any up? I th Olivia was telling me there not, was shorts up. Is that? Did mm, you? So not on her TikTok. They're taken down. Yeah, shorts. I didn't do that. So um, here. Here, the next day, or yesterday, they started racing the shit. And I'm wondering... Also, by the way, she did a, uh... 
She did an episode three months ago when she started this podcast. Her first guest was Colleen Ballinger. That's so bizarre. Who she's Those now she's crazy. now unlisted, by the way. Oh, yeah, I wonder if Colleen asked her to take it down or if she took it down during the Hell first, no, uh, she took that shit down. Yeah. Colleen. Me, right. Right. <laughs> Haven't heard about Colleen in a minute. I guess she's just laying low, huh? Here is a, a short. This one's a little easier to take in. Other questions? Okay. Do you have any other questions? Not for me? really. Not really. It's probably probably best you get out of home to be mother of the buy year, me a right? Flight home? Are you gonna buy me a flight home? I can do that. It's the least I could do. Can it be nonstop? Hmm. Nonstop. Is, was that like? A so anyway, whatever. So what is going on here? I'm very curious what y'all think. Is, is it possible? Here, they did an interview with her. Let's see. When I started my podcast in April, I wanted to do interviews with celebrities, but I didn't know how I was going to get there. It's really hard to get my guests, so I made a video on TikTok saying I would give $300 to any person who successfully connected me with a celebrity. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Really? Oh, that's, that is a good move, I guess. Just a little headhunter thing. How much? So, selling out their... their Famous friends for 300 bucks. <laughs> I, I got the same standing offer. Fuck it. $300 to anyone that could get me a... Drake. Let's see. Who do we want? Barack Drake. Obama. 300 for Barack. Uh -huh. And pussy too. And pussy too. What we could Trump? have a banger interview with Barack. What about Trump? Would you have him Trump, on? 300 bucks for Trump. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Standing offer. Great. Um... So, uh, Rick Glassman, the comedian, was the first person I was able to interview because somebody tagged him. And he was like, okay, I'll do it. And I sent her 300 bucks and did the episode with Rick. There you go, girl. Then I got a random comment on TikTok asking if I heard of Funny Marco, a comedian also known for his dry interview style. Took a screenshot of the comment, posted on my Instagram stories, and then tagged him saying, Marco, if you want to make this girl $300, DM me. He had over 4 million followers at the time, and I only had 500,000. I was like, hey, uh... He's not going to see this, but he replied like a second later. So I sent the girl 300. He came on the podcast. Our video together got so many views and Drake liked it. And then he followed me. This is, dude, the, the, the way that these podcasts hit. I almost haven't seen anything like it before. Podcasts are boring, man. They're hard to like get people to watch. Yeah. Do you know, be like, hey, check out this fucking awesome podcast. I mean, how many people are you just going to watch it's, that and then go watch the podcast? And, yeah, most podcasts you need like prior, prior like. Lore and not like ours. That. You can just hop in That's at true. any moment. Ours is mm -hmm. there's no like back. There's yeah. no inner jokes. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. We I intentionally crafted so that anybody could hop in at any time and understand everything we're talking about. Yeah, I thought she had like a like a little bit of an industry plan vibe to her at first, but hearing what you just said that she kind of headhunted and stuff like that, kind of makes makes sense, I guess. Well, Dan had an industry plan theory, which I'm curious about. But I mean, listen, it went up. It went a little too easy, don't you think? Marco and then Marco to Drake? It's a big leap. <laughs> From Marco to like the most famous person in the world? Yeah. What about, what about Mark Cuban? Oh, and then Mark Cuban came on? Because I, well, what uh, I. Yeah, so, Mark Cuban. Uh, as let me well. go to her YouTube channel and see all the famous people she's had on now. I feel like Mark Cuban will be, like, probably saw something in her, like when, when he. Like he wanted to be after Drake. I feel I like he. I think everybody saw these funny Marco ones and was like, I can do that. Yeah. You know? Right. Um. I decided to just go for it, she said, and shoot my shot. I DM Drake and asked if he wanted to be on my podcast. He said yes. He sent me his touring schedule, and I knew that I needed to make it happen fast. So I, me and my friend flew to Memphis two days after the original DM was sent to record the episode. I mean, listen, Drake has done stuff with this before. He played, uh, he played with Ninja. That's what catapulted him. <laughs> yeah, right? that's true. Mm -hmm. he's, all, he's also played on Twitch with other people. Also, he just casually plays gambles, you know, on a stake.com just for the love of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not a sponsorship at all. Definitely not. Um, so let me see. Now, Dan, you had an industry plant theory, and I know that's well, like a not, running I, joke. What is an industry plant? Can you tell me that? I don't even know what that means. Well, I think usually you hear it in relation to the music industry where an artist will suddenly blow up and just is getting promoted everywhere and um, the idea is that they have the full support of a major label but they are uh, trying to make their explosion and virality seem organic. 
So, um, but how do they find this girl? They just, someone found this girl and says, you're going to be famous? Like, well, what? I mean, here's the thing. She, so she had a huge following on TikTok prior to any of this podcast stuff of just being like one of those mom TikTokers right. or whatever. Well, her, her persona is the same as you see on the podcast. She just did it with like her husband. Right. So I'm not necessarily saying that her entire career is set up. Um, however, the sudden just surge in uh, popularity and just being all over social media and everything and pretty much immediately being able to secure <laughs> huge guests, um, not just Drake. I mean, the Mark Cuban one really like raises an eyebrow for me too. It's like Mark Cuban isn't just going on random new podcasts on a regular basis. You That's know? a good point. I haven't watched um, the Mark Cuban one. Yeah. But look, I mean, look, she hasn't done that many episodes. One was Colleen, which she axed, ripped to the goat. Mm -hmm. I think I read earlier that uh, that episode was released the week that her controversy started. So awesome. Good timing. So then Funny Marco, this one went massive on TikTok. I mean, it has 3.4 million on YouTube, mm -hmm. which is a lot for a podcast, especially a channel that like just got made. Then from that, she talks about Armani White. I don't know who that is. I'm assuming it's a musician. Then Little Yachty. Then Mark Cuban. Or Drake was before Mark Cuban, I think, but she removed the fucking episode. Mm, I think the Drake was after. But it was like... Really? I, mm, I, I, and then, I and then she, she I just did Tyga. Right. It's crazy. So what? So what's your theory behind the industry plant thing? You said you read I, something. I didn't. I don't necessarily have a theory. I, I just. For I. Well, so first of all, one of the main things that you'll see, and I'm I'm seeing in our chat right now, is that uh, oh, she's got the same management, as you know Drake or whatever. Okay, um, so which from she she's managed by WME now. Ethan, you can speak on this, but that doesn't mean as much as people probably think. So when I heard that. As someone who's even worked with them on the uh, influencer front, yeah. the influencer WME is like not even in the same building. Like this is like a joke, dude. The indus the the inf the influencer side, they literally just email anyone with fifty thousand views and try to just parasite any money off them. Um, I highly doubt that WME representing Drake has almost nothing to do with WME representing her. Although, I mean, if she what? blew up this big, I can see them making a connection there, you know? But, yeah, potentially. But the weird thing was, like, I, I couldn't find... I was Googling around before the show trying to find exactly when yeah. she started getting represented by WME because there are, are several articles out there in the last week or so saying that she just got representation from them after the drake interview um, girl you should be careful about that because you go big all of a sudden you have all these people reaching out to you and you're like oh wme that sounds great no they're right. fucking horrible but these articles i i could not find a solid source on that claim uh, and they weren't necessarily on it was like i think i saw one that was like dexerto which you know no shade to dexerto but not necessarily pulitzer stuff here you know what i mean um but I tried to find some sort of announcement because usually when WME signs a big influencer or new talent or something, they'll put out PR about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'll announce it or they'll put something in the trades. But just being I, with I WME, couldn't find that any makes sort of any official information. So I, I don't know where they're getting this info that she was just signed to WME. Right. But even if she is, that seems kind of uh, light for industry plant. Seems to me like I mean she it just, points a little bit more towards that. But what does that possibly. even? I don't even know what that means. It like means she's that famous, they have sort of tacit support of the industry. Um, I don't know. She makes good content. In algorithms and everything without, you know, subtly try to make it seem. I'm I'm Team Bobby. Yeah. I think she did this. For plants. And the rise is insane. I I agree, but like, I mean, I don't think you. I don't think it. I'm not trying to take any credit away from her. Yeah. I think now, regardless, she's hilarious, and I like these interviews, so it doesn't necessarily... Right. It's a great product. Yeah. Everybody loves it. I mean, you could tell from the funny Marco, the Drake, they have, like, tens of millions of views. But, okay, um, is is Tyga enemies with Drake, somebody said in chat? I'm no. not sure about no, the No, I was wondering if maybe, like, she's going to bring on someone that Drake has beef with, and, like, 
its promo for <laughs> it, but um, no, like I don't, I don't think so. So what is going on here? Because none, none of them said anything, and they just erased. Very strange. So my initial thought is it's got to be it's got to be coordinated. I can't imagine a world where they actually had a falling out. How is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, it's like a huge dub for both of them. There couldn't possibly be a. The only I mean, thing it does is like start. Oh. I mean, we're talking about it, right? It and it got a big wave of buzz, and then that starts to die off because the cycle moves on as these things do. And then they pull something like this, and all of a sudden everybody's talking about it again and looking for it. Maybe it goes back up in a few days. Well, I think they, if they're doing it on purpose, it's got to be in preparation for something they're planning. Either another video together, where they have some backstory about how they got in a fight and erased each other from social media. Mm. The only serious thing I could see is potentially some kind of legal thing, but that yeah. just seems so dumb or, to me. Or like legal maybe thing. she went to his show and he was creepy maybe and forgot that she was married, wanted to hook up. Huh? I don't you know. You think so? Well, here, I, here's... Like, I don't think she would probably respond so like publicly because people are going to see that you unfollow and you delete all your shit. And then why would Drake... Reciprocate. Erase her. It's like so petty and weird. That's an interesting theory I hadn't thought about. But here she was. She was just at his show. This was what? Saturday. Saturday. Here's a, here's what she posted. Uh, which I guess is now erased, right? Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't do that. But anyway, imagine Drake's playing. Drake! 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 Yeah, Drake. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. I love Drake. So she she erased this. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> it's pretty what the fuck. I don't know. It does not make sense in my brain, <laughs> even if it's like a publicity stunt to delete viral shit. So counterintuitive. Because that yeah. shit was still getting views. That shit was still yeah, popular. It was yeah. such a fat dub yeah. for both of them. Yeah, so... In my brain, it gotta be legal stuff that it wasn't like an authorized interview with his label or some shit. And that would be crazy if I, Drake couldn't like tell them to fuck off, though. Well, that's the, also that I wouldn't constitute them unfollowing each other. That right, like, right. There's the beef. Good point. That, that's the beef. That adds to it. By the way, I've seen her joking about this industry plant thing. I didn't know that people were actually serious. So celebrating because the industry planted me. I mean, our I've, our chat seems very divided on it. What? I don't even get that. I guess do a poll. I'm curious about uh, the industry plant theory. I, I feel like industry plant is just having a big team behind them. Like having a good... Uh, that doesn't mean she's a plant. I mean, she's still yeah, again, it, it, and it's she just... She had a following before. The, the key aspect of it, it can take a few forms, but it, yeah. that people don't necessarily catch on to the fact that they're being heavily promoted. They're being groomed, right. promoted. Okay, do a poll. Do industry plant. Probably is an industry plant. Because, like, Drake <clears throat> is petty like that. I, hmm. He had a thing he with... Yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't put it past him to reciprocate, like, in a nasty way. Well, remember like the DMs he sent Fantano. That shit was yeah. crazy. Yeah. That was so wild. Was like he doesn't fun. play on Instagram. In fact... This interview was so good, I forgot that he's such a petty bitch. And I was like, oh, he's down to earth and cool. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. He's a douche. Fuck me. Yeah, our poll uh, is looking place. quite divided here. Close Seriously? to 50-50. But, like, yeah. she's been on the internet so long, and she's been successful. People like Well, listen, her. It, her initial success, I think, is almost certainly organic. I oh, think yeah. the industry plant thing is just for the podcast specifically. It's the getting podcast defensive. set up to be. Listen, I'm not getting defensive thing. for Bobby. I just, I just don't get it. You don't talk shit about Bobby. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm on their plant team, by the way. I'm being paid to run defense for her. The botanist. So if, if this is actually a real beef, it's stunning. Mm -hmm. It's unreal. Yeah. But I it's so crazy. I really have a hard time. Please interview Rich Lux. 
Rich is part of the gang. He's coming with us to Disneyland for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Dan are gonna hold hands and skip the whole time. Dan. Space Mountain. <laughs> They're gonna ride on Space Mountain together. That would be good content. Dan is the queen. <laughs> Dan that. is the queen. <laughs> so, I see lots of people saying Drake is a creep. I'm not. Sh I don't know about his whole lore. You know what I mean? I know we goofed on him for the Millie Bobby Brown thing, which was pretty weird. That's so bad. Yeah, that was almost pretty bad. <laughs> so maybe he tried to. You think he maybe he tried to have sex with her? That would certainly do it. I think maybe. Yeah. Millie Bobby I mean, like, Brown, Bobby maybe, Altoff. It's the Bobby maybe. dude. Oh shit. Yeah, he just thought that she was single and that she came to his show and. But I feel he like doesn't. He doesn't. He knows. like she could have just been like, "No, fuck off. I'm married." Like I feel like it wouldn't have been that serious, dramatic, right? I, 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 I mean, again, we're, this is like crazy speculation, but yeah. I don't think he's a. I don't think he would. I didn't want to say it. It's so absurd. No, no. Do something. No, no, no. Because then she follow, unfollows, no. and then he unfollows. No. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. We're gonna have to check back in on this in a week. Yeah, because he did like follow Ice Spice, then unfollow Ice Spice, and then refollow Ice Spice. Like, what was that about? He's. It was about probably thinking she was hot, but <sighs> like, he does do that. It was yeah. in the news. <laughs> Such a weirdo. That is good to know. Such a weirdo. I mean, we're gonna keep an eye on this because if they don't come out with like some kind of planned thing in the next week or two, then this is serious. This actually is a real beef. Yeah, then which I have to know what happened. Then I'm <laughs> defaulting to that Drake did something weird and creepy. I'm, I mean, think? my brain goes there. If it's Occam's not razor, not, right? Like, yeah. If it's not fake, no, Occam's razor to me is legal stuff. But Legal then why did they unfollow each other? The, the unfollowing. Right, the See, unfollowing. That. Yeah, I, I unfollowing don't think that, kick is that hit, works, ruins yeah. it all. <laughs> the, um, so know. if Occam's razor, if we were to follow the razor, mm -hmm. the unfollow, the, the deleting. Occam's razor tells me it's a fake. It's a good, it's a, it's a planned. I mean, that was my initial impression as well, but... Right, right now, yeah, I agree with you. It's a planned you. shtick. But in, if it's the, nothing changes in one week, it changes to him being weird. I guess it has to. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense to keep, remove it and then, like, prolong mm. it even longer. It doesn't make any sense <laughs> for them for... I, I, yeah, the legal stuff doesn't make sense with the unfollow. Yeah. Also, it's... Coming back to the poll, it's almost exactly 50-50. I feel like this is the most divided... We yeah, we, we never things. get pulled this close. Like, it'll yeah. always lean one way or another a little bit, but... Yeah, I don't know. The people are torn. And frankly, I am too. That's why I was saying I don't necessarily subscribe to the theory, but I... There are many elements of this that are very strange. Someone says, I think this is a nothing burger. Do you, have you ever watched the show before? <laughs> That's all <laughs> yeah. we talk this about. This is literally what it's we do. It's all nothing burger. I've talked about it for an hour. We spent a week on XQC. A guy eats his toenails. 